Oh, my legs asleep. Oh, my legs asleep. Hello. Good evening, because it is almost six o'clock. Um, I haven't vlogged today, uh, just because I literally pretty much slept all day. Uh, I don't know why. I went to sleep really early last night, which is why I didn't end the vlog. Uh, I just passed out. And then today I woke up at 10 a.m., stayed up for like an hour or two, fell back asleep for like three hours. So yeah, that's been my day, but I am going to work. Here is my face. Nothing special, pretty much the makeup I do every single day. And my makeup doesn't really change drastically other than lip color, but I thought I would start the vlog. Uh, I'm off at 9, so I'll probably vlog more when I get home. Also, just want to say, um, an interview with Hannah Snowden, who is a tattooist, who is amazing, and she has like the coolest views on life and stuff. Um, and there's an interview with her, and she's just the cutest thing ever. I'll link it down below. I've talked about her before, the girl who gave me the, or not who gave me, the girl who wrote the key magazine that Heather gave me. And I'm thinking, I was thinking like, okay, when I go to England in six months, which me and Caitlin were talking about it yesterday, it might be longer than six months, just because it, it's a lot of money to save up. So, I mean, it might even be a year. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Um, but I was thinking when I, when we do go to Brighton, I was thinking, okay, her shop is based in Sheffield, maybe I can take a train there, because I, I knew they weren't near each other. <coughs> but when I looked it up, not only are they not near each other, they're four hours away from each other. So, I'm, but it is kind of a one-time opportunity, because I'll never get to see her or be tattooed by her ever again. So I might take the, like, I might just take the entire day, take a four-hour train journey, if a train even goes that far. Oh yeah, they do. Take a, tr take a train journey there, get tattooed by her, go back, and that'll be one of the entire days that I'm there. But, I mean, we're planning on staying for a week, so... I don't know, I'll talk to- I'll get in contact with Hannah, see what she thinks when it gets closer to the time. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna finish up getting ready. I'll probably show you my outfit, too, because I'm wearing something really different than normal. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm wearing, like, harimi pants. Um, they're quite different from what I usually wear at work. Usually I wear um, leggings, or jeggings, so wearing this is very weird for me, and I feel like it makes me look a little larger, but I'm already large, and they're super comfortable, so it's like, eh, who cares, um, plus I'll probably be standing behind the counter for a majority of the shift, but anyway, I'll talk to you guys when I get home. I put on the purple <laughs> lipstick, it's really hard, I'm not gonna lie, um, it's really, really hard to apply, because it kind of goes streaky when you try to layer it up. So I'd probably say, I'm gonna try it tomorrow, I just don't have the time, but I'm gonna put on one layer, let it dry, put on kind of like nail polish. But yeah, it's real difficult to apply. You can't see it, but I don't even really like how it applied, but oh well, good enough. It's so dark, you can't even see anything I'm wearing. I'm gonna be really ghetto right now. Okay, so I'm wearing like this kind of sequiny top so I kind of feel like I'm in a disco and then these are the harimi pants I'm being so this is ghetto lighting right now just picking up my lamp showing you they're like harimi type pants they have a bow right there and they're just loose and baggy and they're so comfortable but they're still kind of dressed up and then yeah there's my top necklace face but anyway I need to get better lights. My room, like, just not even lighting for filming, but just in general, I need a brighter lamp. Anyway, I gotta go. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, so I'm home from work now. <coughs> Sorry. Um, the Ultima lip creams lasted pretty well. It got a little patchy, but overall, it's really good. Watching some old Zoe vlogs, and I think I'm going to watch Louise's um, Q&A from VidCon, because I never watched the whole thing, and it looked amazing. She did so well from what I saw. Um, I also thought I'd show you my dinner. It's spaghetti and meatballs. Well, not meatballs, but it's just spaghetti. And um, some garlic bread left over from last night's takeaway. So. First bite. Hmm. Smosh reference. Who understood that? If not, sorry, I disgustingly just ate my food. Anyway. 
I'm gonna carry on eating and watch the Q&A. Hey, so I'm now on BuzzFeed, which is a website I've heard of. I've heard a lot about, but I've never gone on the website. So, and I went on because, oh, I found like a link to a quiz or something on Tumblr and I was like, ooh, I should actually go on BuzzFeed and look at what quizzes they have. Because I used to love taking quizzes when I was younger for some reason. And I've taken quite a few already. But I thought, I want to show you guys this one. I got, where should you study abroad? I just think it's kind of cool. I got, I can't pronounce that. It's in France. Uh, any French people out there, Do you, can you pronounce this for me? Or tell me how to pronounce it? Somehow. Somehow. It says, you gravitate towards the arts and Paris is calling to you. We'll provide you with a top education. You'll probably spend a large chunk of your time touring the world's greatest museums and enjoying Café Olé at Bohemian Cafés. Sounds good to me. I wonder what the other options were, though. I've never really considered Paris. I mean, well, I mean, I have, like, every other girl on the planet, but... I don't know, I've always been more of, like, I really want to go to England, girl. Which is why I really, really want the trip to Brighton to happen. But we'll see. Um, I'm going to take out the trash. And then I'll come back to take more quizzes and I'll probably tell you guys the results. Just because I remember when I was younger too, I used to do this. I would oftentimes want to save my results just to have. I don't know why. Um, so I guess me vlogging this is a way for me to keep them. I really should be editing, but I'll edit tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. Okay. I wasn't, I wasn't originally going to vlog this. I was just going to, because I'm taking quizzes and only vlogging some of them. The ones that are like interesting. But I'm taking, I just took the Are You Actually Girlfriend material quiz just because I'm like, why am I still single? It's obviously because of my weight, but I'm thinking like, what if it's my personality too? But according to BuzzFeed, I am for sure girlfriend material. You are without question girlfriend material. You're fun, attentive, and you have a great sense of self. That last part, I don't know if that's true. You're confident in yourself, not true, as well as your convictions, true. Which is why you're going to make someone very happy someday. Let's hope so. Alright, I'm back. This one is called How Should You Procrastinate Today? I thought it would be a funny one to do. Let me just turn on some music so that you don't have to listen to just my horrid voice the whole time. And my ragged breathing. <laughs> I just ate some gummies from Welch's that my mom got. I don't know where she got them. It was just like some a little random packet. And now my lips feel sticky. Anyway, on to the quiz. Oh, there's the first question. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is hard. <laughs> what responsibilities are you avoiding right now? Paying bills, putting chores, I can't remember anymore. Hmm. I can't even remember anymore. Which mythical creature do you fear most? Vampires, werewolves, zombies, Justin Bieber. Um, I'm gonna go with zombies. Which high school stereotype do you most identify with? Jock nerd, goth class clown. Mm. Probably nerd. Which of these kills your productivity the most? Tumblr for sure. I never use Facebook ever. Well, I mean, obviously I do like once in a while because I get a bunch of notifications and messages from people. But yeah. Which of these embarrassing dances would you allow at your wedding? Caught, what in, it's Cotton Eye Joe. Cha Cha Slide. Ho Down Throw Down. The Wobble. Probably the Ho Down Throw Down. It seems like the most fun. Cha Cha Slide is just so like. Reminds me of middle school. Why do you want to procrastinate? I'm lazy. I'm bored. I'm apathetic. I'm con I'm confused. Mm -hmm. I'm apathetic. What kind of music helps you focus the most? Mm -hmm. Probably rock, like pop punk rock, pop. Uh, mm, yeah, stuff like that. Would that be considered? No, yeah. Which face would you make as someone who told you to get back to work? Probably that one. Oh, mine is prepare for the inevitable zombie plague. 
that's how I should procrastinate today, by preparing for the zombie plague. Alright, step one, buy all the, all the ramen. Step two, eat all the ramen. Step three, regret and purchase a more ramen. You're killing it at this whole potential apocalypse. <laughs> okay, no.